people are people, you know? And I mean, you know, D Dylan, right? I mean, he's got a great singing voice, but he's still just a person. And I think what I did was approach everybody as if they were just people. When I photographed Dylan, I was told by the art director at the magazine that Dylan had said he didn't want some she-she photographer coming to photograph him. I thought about what that meant and you know, there's, there's, there's a certain genre of, of L.A. celebrity photographers, New York celebrity photographers that, that they bring their chefs and they bring their makeup and they, you know, I mean, it's almost like the photographer is more the star than the people they're photographing. And so I drove up to Malibu where, where Dylan was living and we got there, I got there, and drove, you know, went through security and drove down the yellow brick road to Bob's house. And he came out and he had a couple of beers and he said, you want a beer? And I said, yeah. And he said, so what are we going to do? And I said, well, you know, Bob, I just had back surgery and I got all this heavy equipment in the truck that I can't get out. So can you help me get this stuff out, right? And so instead of treating Dylan like somebody special, it was just like another person, you know? I need your help to do this. And I had Dylan up on ladders, taping canvas on the walls, and I treated him just like a person. He really related to that. And I think that, that, that that's a big key to the whole thing, is that we're just people. First, we were kind of a circus, because we were driving in this big 3500 diesel blue pickup truck. And then in the back of it, we had a red Indian chief motorcycle. And then we had this 35-foot Airstream trailer behind it. So we sort of looked kind of weird. And as we were driving around the back, the back roads, um, I'd see something, you know, like I'd see people out doing a Fourth of July picnic or out gardening or whatever, and we'd stop. And I'd walk up to them and explain who I was and what I wanted to do and why I wanted to do a portrait of them and what I thought was special. And uh, in, in the two years and the 70,000 miles, we had one person say no. Because if you approach someone and you explain your intent, you explain why you want to do it, and you explain that they're special, all of a sudden they open up their house. And instead of getting that one little stupid snapshot, all of a sudden you're in their kitchen, you're in their bedroom, and you're in their lives, and you're getting such incredible photographs. You know, I mean, like Sister Reedy. She was a 90-year-old Pentecostal minister who also had uh, a watermelon field. And we got introduced to her and we ended up spending four days photographing her and working with her. There, there was another guy, and I walked by his campground every day for three or four days. And I kept walking by this thing, and I kept thinking, there's got to be something here. And finally, three, four days later, he came out of the tent. And he was on a pilgrimage up to Mississippi. And so I wanted to do a portrait of him. And so I did the portrait of him. And whenever, whenever I photograph people, I try and give them, you know, a little bit of money, five, ten bucks. I mean, something just to help them because they've given me a gift. So I want to 
give them a gift back. And so, I don't know, I gave him like 15 bucks probably, and he said, you're my miracle. And I said, well, what do you mean? And he said, well, now that I have this $15, I can buy gas, and I can continue on to my pilgrimage to this statue. Yeah, it's magic. You know, and the, the thing that I think is so important with portrait work, is that you engage the person you're photographing, that you talk to them, that you experience them. And if you do that, you get so much more out of the photograph than if you just go click and move on. You know, I, I talk to people when, when, when I'm photographing them, and I say, you know, it doesn't matter how you're standing. It doesn't matter, you know, whether your arm is here or whether your arm is here or whether your head is this way. And what I tell people is I want them to look at, and if you look at my work, almost all of it is eye contact. I really, really like it. And I tell people I want you to look in the camera and instead of thinking about you're having your, t your picture taken, I want you to think about something that's special to you. And of course, you know, that depends on what you want from the image. You know, I mean, if you want someone looking loving and, and caring, then you talk about them thinking about that. If you want something that's more hard ass and, and raw, you have them think about that. And try and put that into the lens. And then look into the lens and think about that and put that person in the lens that you're thinking about so that what you're really photographing is the, the, the emotion that they're feeling. And to me, that's portraiture. Yeah, if you're really good, there's only one person in the photograph, and that's the subject, if you're really good. <laughs>